Hello friends, welcome back. Welcome to the concepts of CISSP series. We are covering domain 3, security architecture and engineering. So Salt and Schroeder's architecture principles are the 10 architectural principles which, have, which we, we have already discussed. And as you have seen that these principles like 8 plus 2, 8 architectural principles which was more related with the secure design of an information system or a computer system and the two more design principles which was included from the world of physical security like compromise recording and work factor. What we are discussing in this video is an extension of that discussion and we will be covering ISO IEC 19249. We will look into the, the, the architectural principle first and the design principle. So ISO IEC 19249 is titled as Information Technology Security Techniques Catalog of Architectural and Design Principles for Secure Products, Applications and Systems. Right. So this is the title of ISO IEC 19249. If you look carefully into the title, the title talks about two different domains. One is the domain of architectural principles and another is the domain of the design principles. So what is what is this distinction and what is meant by architectural principles and design principles and how they are different. Now when it comes to the architectural uh, principles in, in theory what we are going to discuss is to find the balance between security and functionality of a secure system. So if we are architecting a product or if we are architecting a network or a data center or a database system or an application architecture right. So there is a functionality aspect of that architecture which we want to achieve. If we don't achieve the functionality the overall purpose of the architecture fails right. Now to achieve the functionality we have to take care of the security as well. So we have to do a justice between how much security we can enforce to have a secure functionality of the system right. So the architecture component or the architectural principles talks of finding the balance between security and functionality. So what are those architectural principles here? The architectural principles are domain separation or the second architectural principle which we will be discussing here is layering, then encapsulation, redundancy and virtualizations. So these are the five architectural principles and if you look carefully into these architectural principles, you will see that these architectural principles essentially help architects to do a balance or do a justice between the security and functionality of the architecture. Right. So this is uh, this is this is meant by the principle of secure architecture. Now, what is the what is meant by the principle of secure design, or what are the secure design principles? Right. So the secure design principles are meant to help identify and mitigate risk. Right. So you have to think uh, carefully here. When we talk of architecture, we are finding a balance between the functionality and the security of the system. It's an overall thousand feet understanding of the architecture and how this architecture is serving the purpose of the, of the design and how we can uh, cook or we can inbuilt the security without compromising the functionality of the system that is architecture. But when it comes to design, we have already um, we have already uh, thought of that the architecture is already in place, right? The architectural decision has already been done. Now the design is more engineering aspect, right? We are basically design the components or design the placement of the components or the interaction between the components to achieve the functionality, right? 
so the design will complement what is already being architected right and the architecture covers the uh, the inclusion of security into the functionality now in design we are focusing on how we can identify and mitigate risk right so this is the main purpose of design principle it is meant to help identify and mitigate risk so when it comes to risk we will uh, we have to revisit nist 830 839 you can refer my videos in domain one to know different terminologies and definitions we use in risk assessment and how we mitigate risk uh, a quick quick overview will help in this domain as well now as we as we um, as we have seen that in architectural principles we have got five architectural principles and they are domain separation layering encapsulation um, redundancy and virtualization right so these are the five architectural principles in design principles we also have five design principles and they are least privilege least privilege we have already discussed in Salzer and Schroeder's uh, architecture principle as well. Then we have attack surface minimization, centralized parameter validation, centralized general security services, and preparing for error and exception handling. Right. So these are the five design principles. If you look into the design principles, you will come to know that all these design principles are risk centric. They are in a way. Uh, will help the designer or the architect of the system to know the inherent risk associated with this product or a system or the application right so these are the two broad categories of architectural principles and design principles in iso ic 19249 now in next video we will start dissecting individual architectural principles and individual design principles I will try to see how this relates with a secure product or a secure system or a secure application. Thanks for watching the video and as always if you like my content subscribe to my channel. You can share my video with your fellow friends who are preparing for CISSP and best of luck for your CISSP exam. Hope to see you again in my next video.